Thanks for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology, and instructional coach from my district. And I'm a producer and husband, Fuzz Martin, and I'm really excited about this week's episode because after today, we have to turn around because we've hit episode 180. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we did a complete 180. (laughs) And now we're going back the other way. Yeah. So we'll start counting down. Yes. 179B. And then when we get to 178B, we we get to episode 360, we'll have come full circle. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so special. Thank you. Good job. Very special boy. Yeah. (laughs) So we had two weeks off. It was spring break. Which was always fun. We enjoy spring break. I did not have two weeks off, but we took two weeks off of the podcast yes. because we needed the weekend before and the weekend after since mm-hmm. Easter fell in there and we went to Disney. We did. So yeah, so it was a fun little break, but now we are cranking into the end of the school year, fourth quarter. The weather here is still cold and gross in Wisconsin. We had a snowstorm. We actually had a snow day this week. So there's that. So this week, moving forward... Let's hope there's some spring weather and it's pleasant outside. Yeah. Hope so. Some rain. I mean, we're supposed to be in the 60s. I mean, but that's lies. Let's be uh, real. Yeah. You know, our weather is never what we think it's going to be. It's supposed to be uh, around uh, (laughs) 15 or 16 degrees Celsius for those of you in (laughs) beautiful Canada or wherever you may be listening. That's not the U.S. Yes, because, well. You're very big in Greece. Portugal. Portugal. Um. (laughs) Hello. I think New Zealand at one point. Hello from other parts of the world. Yes. Thanks yeah. So, you know, it's fun. I appreciate all of my listeners. Yes. Thank you all. <sighs> so let's talk about learning. Okay. And some tech tools. <laughs> Great. And I was wondering why we were here. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little bit of everything. While digging, because, you know, two weeks off is a lot of time for me to be trolling the internet. Mm-hmm. On my phone, especially in airports. And we all know in past episodes, I mean, we can pull up probably every single time that I have mentioned Google Google Chrome experiments, which I have always been a huge fan of, which originally is experiments with Google.com. Yes. And over the past 14 years, so my podcast has not been around that long, but no. over the past 14 years, Google experiments, they have created 1,613 experiments. That's a lot of experiments. Which is awesome. However, for those of you that don't know, Google Experiments has made a change. What? And they are no longer a thing. No. And they point out that in the in the thought of change and experimenting, mm-hmm. they're going to make a change. So, Google Chrome Experiments still exist in like the past experiments site. However, Google now has a new place to house cool projects. Yay! And it is labs.google. Labs.google. It's not even Labs.google. Not even .com, just labs.google. How did they get that? I want... Labs.google, folks. I want want podcast.fuzz. Yes. Labs.google, because you're not Google. Because I don't have a kajillion dollars. L-A-B-S dot Google. That's all you got to type in. Cool. Easy enough. And it is so cool. <laughs> so Labs.Google is all of the cool things like Google Experiments. So I'm going to highlight a couple of them today. But like the homepage, I feel like you just need to be on the homepage right now. Okay. Because I'm on the, homepage. the visuals, like they float around the screen and they like bump around. So you can like drag and move uh. the shapes and they like move but the links still work like they're animated but you control the animation on the home page for like cool. how you want i don't know i just thought it was cool like not your usual home page or anything and there's like little things twirling around the screen and it, i don't know it's just kind of cool so labs at google will be similar to your chrome experiments kind of deal so there's all kinds of just cool things that people come up with and submit to google and they have a team of people and just all kinds of cool ideas being shared and so I'm going to highlight a few of them today. Okay. But I'm not, I mean, I'm just going to highlight a couple of them because like Chrome experiments, there's a, like all kinds of them. So the first one 
for wherever you are on the screen, because that's something like I referenced, like at the top right. Yeah, I can't do that because when you go to the site, it'll look, I don't know, look for the yellow lumpy <laughs> star flower. Okay, yes. <laughs> it might be different by the time you get there too. It might be. It's I-M-A-G-E-F-X, so image FX. Yep. That's the product. And click try now. Okay, I got to sign in with my Google account. Yeah, so sign in with your Google account. I'm already there. So All right. sign with uh, your Google account. Don't want any of those things. And we love a fun AI image creator. Oh, yeah. And this one you don't have to pay for. And okay. you don't have, like, limits on stuff like a lot of them you do. So, and it tells you ahead of time, like, make sure this is community appropriate. Mm -hmm. You know, all that kind of stuff. Because sometimes we worry about with our students making sure that they're obviously appropriate. So you can choose um, a crayon drawing of a wolf in a night shirt. Maybe we could use this for Little Red Riding Hood and hat. And you just click generate. And what I like about this one is it'll, you know, it takes a second to generate the, pic the pictures that you choose. But then what's cool is when it's generating the certain words, it then gives you drop downs to make changes to them. So then I can click the drop down and change my crayon drawing to a charcoal drawing. And I don't have to type anything new in. I just click my little drop down arrow and then it resets and gives me my next set of pictures. I just oh. generate and it will do the next set and it, it keeps them for you. And you can like scroll through the images that you're oh, creating and cool. choosing. Is that fun? Yeah. Like it's a little extra compared to like what you've done before. A photo realistic of a woman podcasting with an Electra Voice <laughs> RE20 and a pair of headphones. She's wearing a Wisconsin long sleeve t-shirt and has her laptop open in front of her as she podcasts. Nice. That's super cool. <laughs> is that fun? Yep. So I did a wolf in a nightshirt and a hat, and I shifted from crayon drawing oh, to pencil drawing. Cool. But they're so cool. Is that we're like passing our computers back and forth <laughs> to each other. This is so weird. Oh, but then, I can change you into a hoodie. That's cool. And so you can just make small adjustments. And so my hat, it gives me more specific words, a cap, a crown, or a helmet. Mm -hmm. My nightshirt can shift from pajamas to a robe to a tuxedo. So it's a really fun experiment and you have your images there so it's different than some of those other ai generators that we've talked about before just because this has so many different options with it mm -hmm. um and it's very user friendly and like protected so that's a fun one to play around with so like oh, I, man. I put in what microphone you're using yeah. right now mm -hmm. and then in the drop downs it gave me so you're using a electro voice re20 very nice microphone <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the other one that's similar to that in the market is mm -hmm. the Sure, SM7B, mm -hmm. and that's one of my choices. And the Audio Technica AT2020, nice. and the Pod Mic, which was your mic you had before. I went and spent <laughs> Too much three money times as much on the mic. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it gets like super specific for you, which is just cool. Like it's just a cool. It's a cool image creator. It's so yeah. and it's easy to play around with, and I would feel okay with my kids using this one and not have any like songs are searching appropriate things. It's fine. So. Okay, back to labs.google. So leave the yellow squiggly star thing. And then the green, I don't even know, like hexagon. Okay. Again, like they move around the screen. The instrument playground? The instrument playground is what right. I'm going to next. So that's still from arts and culture. This one does still come up from arts and culture. So okay. this is why I wanted to point this one out. Okay. Was that some of these new like Google Labs will shift back and forth to experiments. So they're not like gone forever. So. Yep. Like Blob Opera and all of our favorites. Like, they're okay, still there. Sure. Okay, I was worried about that. <laughs> so you can still pull up some of the other ones, um, and they'll still come up for you. This one is really cool. You pick an instrument, and it will compose music with the specific instrument that you want. And you can change your AI-generated instrument, and then you can click Next, and you can type in, like, an adjective and how you want it to sound, like moody or mellow or whatever you want to say. And then it will... I don't know if you can hear this, but it like comes up with AI generated audio clip oh. for 20 seconds based on your mood and your instrument that you want. Awesome. Yeah. And then you can click on the keys. Like if you want to add things in your own keyboard, you can add different things into there and then click next. And then you can change your beat. So you can add your beat into there as you choose to. And then you can add your pitch and you can make adjustments to the ambient zone. Like, 
sound. And then once you're good, you hit end. And then you hit go. And it comes up with this like cool song that you can play, which is kind of really awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, there's all kinds of, I don't know if you can like hear me playing kind of sort of. And then you can record off of it too. <laughs> Pretty slick. Anyway, so there's all kinds of like cool ways to introduce different types of music and sound and mood and tone and all those pieces, which I think is great for music class. But also that goes with writing. If you're doing mm-hmm. creative writing, you want to talk about mood and tone, you can totally build sound into mood and tone yeah. in your creative writing lessons or even your descriptive writing lessons or narratives. Like those pieces, you can hear the sound like make a sound for what yeah. your character and I your want some suspense. dystopian book would yeah. be listening to. Like, exactly. There's just all kinds of things. It's fun. And now the situation is resolved and everything's, you know, hunky-dory again. Yeah. So how would that change the mood? What would yeah. that sound like? So, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's Love just it. super fun to play around with it. Very easy and straightforward. It just lays it all out for you and then you can play around. Dee, 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 and you can change and you can record and all those types of things. So, very cool. So that was the instrument playground Green shape that moves around your screen. And there's one more on the home screen I want to show you guys. There's because there's, but wait, there's more yeah. on the, I think on the left side of the beaker. Okay. <laughs> nope. I'm on the right side of the beaker. Yeah. When you look at the site, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. But yep. right now, I'm trying to explain this. Okay. So there's a giant blue oval. It's called DJ Mode Music Buy. Are you in that? Is that the one I'm? Is that the one I'm on? Uh, is it Music FX DJ? It says Music FX Radio for me. Yes. So when you're in there, yep, you can make your own music. Cool. <laughs> so like, there's uh, mongoose post punk indie electronic. Let's see. Go. I want a uh, hip hop yeah. sports theme. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of driving bass. Great. All right, let's generate this. There's going to be like no bass on your computer, just so everybody knows. You turn the bass up on your it's soundboard. It's optimizing my project. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chips help you explore other ideas. Okay, yeah, we got that. DJ mode. DJ fuzz. I'm still generating. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Fuzz's <laughs> DJ special <laughs> with special guest MC Shanny Shan. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And it gives me two options. And then you could change that with the cards. Let's see. I want to make a romance theme. And then you can put a glockenspiel in it. Oh, glockenspiel. Yes. I like that. All right. Ooh, this is going to be like too much for people's ears. Yeah. We're, sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm never going <laughs> to stop playing with this. I'm going to just play with this until <laughs> until I'm no longer on this earth. Yeah. <laughs> this is that hip hop romance theme. A lot of driving bass, but we could say uh, you want it to have soaring strings instead. So all yeah. these things, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So this is fun. Shanna's had enough. <laughs> and as a teacher, you will too. <laughs> Make sure they're using <laughs> headphones. Yes. Is all I can say. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun though. Like it's so much fun. So you can DJ all that you want in all your DJing amazingness. And it's just a fun way to create sound. Obviously, you can play around with different types of listening, um, different skills and listening, different things. It's really cool. So that one's DJ mode in music FX. So yeah. that's like an option. So again, there's more. I'm, I'm sure there'll be more than one episode on this one. But yeah. I want to point out. So this is just the labs.google homepage. That's all I've talked about is the homepage. And that's not even all of them. You can click, I'm feeling lucky, and it'll just send you someplace and then... You get to learn cool things. <laughs> but if you scroll like at the bottom of... I, I clicked, I've, I'm feeling lucky, and I got to a help support page about <laughs> Google Messages. So uh, so, so well. there's that. So there's I also like, didn't win the $1.2 billion in the lottery. So okay, well, there's that. you know, it's fine. Mm-hmm. At least you might learn something from the help page. True. Right? True. So there's a little pink arrow on the bottom of this screen. Okay. And of, the, of the home screen? Of the home screen. And this then... Like experiment with the future of AI. Okay. Like there's highlights of different things coming out, like January twenty fourth. So it like gives you 
like upcoming or just passed. Yeah. You know, things are on their page. But they have like AI in Chrome and Notebook L, Notebook LM, personalized yes. AI Notebook Creator. So they use like more AI experiments and things like that. So we will talk more about some of these in the future. But just so you know, like as you scroll down, there's lab sessions with teachers that link to their their YouTube videos that explain kind of where some of this comes from and and the different things with Google Labs. So Labs, Google, Labs.Google, so much fun. And as we loved our Google Chrome experiments, these are going to be super duper fun. And there is so many things to look into. So we had some pictures and some music ones today. There will be plenty in the future. And there's a lot of AI cool stuff that you might want to dig into if you're into finding out new information about different ways to use AI in your life. Yeah, cool. Is that fun? That is fun. Labs.Google. Labs.Google. Now I need to go update all the things in the EdTech directory <laughs> at Chrome Experiments. I mean, Chrome Experiments still exist, though, but they're shifting to not adding more to it. Okay. They're adding to Labs.Google. Yeah, and it is markedly fun, more fun design than... Yeah, the, the it's like a fun oh, website. Yeah. Like the homepage is fun. Yeah. yeah, it's just fun. You could say they were experimenting with their uh, design uh, in uh, the lab. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. So fun. Well, I'm excited we're back. And a few more weeks, folks, and the school year is going to be over. Yes. So hold on. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on the app, formerly known as Twitter at SmartNWI, or on Threads, or on Facebook. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology discussed in this episode, you can visit SmartNWI.com. If you'd like to support the show, please consider buying me a coffee or two. Visit buymeacoffee.com slash SmartNWI, or visit SmartNWI.com and click on that cute little purple coffee cup. Your donations help keep the show going. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed on this podcast and the Smart NWI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed on this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as we've described, but we sure hope they do.